Hey guys, it's Bouncing Content, and today I will giving you I will be giving you some info and a tutorial about Roblox Auto. So let's begin. So actually, um, I'm not exactly the best at Roblox Auto, but I wouldn't consider myself that. Um, so first, Roblox Auto, you will get this single character called Invader. Um, so he's this character, which you could use. Um, he's just like that. So you can use like this. So he's the um, first character you will earn. He has these claws or uh, these things, and he he has glowing horns, and he walks or runs like this. Um, his moves, his moves, um, left click, so like that. Uh, right click, like that, and then on your two is poison. So it just deals more more damage. And then this, this uh, and then shift is like that dash move that I just did. So then, um, now I'll go back. Um, so yeah, um, every time you get a character, there will always be like a move with shift or Q, the, any, like, there, there's these always types of keys. Always, um, left click and right click are always some type of move. Left click is a move that you will use all the time. That won't ever run out. Uh, or you don't have to wait seconds. But if you do any other move, like the right click, you're gonna have to wait, like, uh, three seconds or so for it to recharge and you could do it again. But the left click, you would always do. Um, so they have, uh, different, different, um, things. And then as you play, you'll unlock these videos, and you'll unlock different characters, which there are other videos on, like Vestige, which is an uh, actual good character that I like, which can only do range attacks, actually, but it's pretty cool. So its accuracy is actually pretty good. And you can do this. And then left click is uh, this normal shot move. Um, right click is this. It's a snipe, which could deal like an insane, like 48 amount of damage. If you aim correctly, then you could hit your opponent. Um, and then shift is a back click, which is also pretty cool, which actually also deals like 20% damage, I think. And then Q is this uh, slam move, where you just dash forward to the enemy. Yeah, well... That one was in the way, so I can try to dash. See, you just dash and slam. And, um, yeah, so that's Vestige. Artisan. Um, normal move, so left click is that. Um, he's actually pretty cool. Um, so, um, right click is uh, a shield move where you can shield yourself. Um, Q is this a uh, gun type of move, and then Shift is he builds robots, robots and such. So it's pretty cool because he auto shoots for you, and he actually has a certain amount of health until he runs out. So yeah. Um. So now I this is witness, which uh, bash, which it which L is his normal move bash, such like that. And then right is this kick, and then let's see how much damage. Okay, so yeah, that one. And then this is like a force field and such, which you could use. Um, and then this is like it's a lightning bolt that you could use on your enemies. Um, so he, this guy's pretty cool. Um. So I'll click the menu, and then this prophet, he's insane, he's, um, very slow, but he's actually pretty cool and powerful, so I'll do this, which does, like, 20 damage, and then he does this move, which I don't know what that is, let me do it on this guy, so, it's a pretty powerful move, actually, it did, like, 100 damage, so, um, you could also do this, where you could just like, uh, like, uh, swift through. 
and then he can do this, or he just uh he just gives himself health. If he, if he's on low on health, he just gives himself health. Um, but there's only like some versions of it. So like per at a time, you get only two of these, and then you have to restore them. Let's see. Okay, and you only get like one health um reload, or maybe like. Yeah, actually, no. No, the health depends on how much you, you take hits. So you can refill it on how many hits you get. So the more the hits, the more the 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 more the um hit rate is. Um so yeah, um so now you have these buttons over here. They give you different powers. So like dirt, it just clones you and such and stuff like that. Reset all cooldowns like this. Um swap. And Zion and Gear and Gear Hull. So we could stop time for four seconds. Um, let's see, can we charge up my tempo? Your tempo is the little blue bar or like the colored bar. That's not like your that's not like your health bar, because your health bar is always on top. The bar under your health bar is always the tempo bar. Once it's filled up, you would use your tempo. And you have to get it filled up like this. See? All time is frozen. I just did and then yeah, I took a hundred damage. Um, so, and then if you if you want to go back to menu, um, you have to click M, but otherwise you're fine. So if if you want to resume the game, then you just click M again and you're back in. Um, so continue. Um, so these are like the versions. Um, this is weeks, which is like the easiest mode. Um, this is hours. Um, this is minutes and this is seconds. The, these two are very hard. These two are more easier. Um, for beginners, I would suggest weeks, obviously. And then this is like the boss section. This is like the boss section. So if you unlock different bosses in the game, because um, these are the bosses. I unlocked this boss. I have done a video on it, I think, on how to unlock this one. And then, yeah. This guy named Dreamer over here, he's super powerful. He, uh, costs a game pass that costs, like, a thousand robux, I think. Um, well, yeah, these are, like, the characters from the game. Not, like, uh, custom characters. These characters actually come from the game. They're actually, like, um, the, like, w the characters you battle in the game. So, if you have Equinox, yeah, I have Equinox. Um, I will, I will battle the same version of Equinox. It, because Equinox is actually lived in the game. And I have unlocked Equinox, so Equinox versus Equinox in the first stage. I'm sorry, I'll just show you. Um, or, yeah. You know what? And not actually. Actually, no, um, it's in one of my videos, but yeah, it's the same thing. Um, so, different tempos. You should read the description and try it out to see what it is. Tempos are powers, like I said. And then, once you once you actually get in, once you actually get in, let me show you. Okay, so you have to walk off, and I'll show you the kind of you know the controls, and then you could choose different upgrades. I think if you choose if you have like something, you could choose all three upgrades at once. And use this auxiliary rotor, rotor which like is active, as you can see, which is like a um. as you can see is like a um, second type of me so th this is the first stage which you will be getting a um, equinox which which you are battling these normal enemies right now but at the end you will get um, you will be battling the boss equinox um, As you can see, yes. So, I probably should not have chosen Artisan, he's not too good. Hold on, let me choose this stage actually. Um, let's see. Alright, and now I will show you beating the game. Best is actually pretty good, and let me choose him. Um, 
Okay, there you go. I got that. I got the rest of that. Got that too. Take that one out here. Let's do a back I wonder if you could uh, do an upgrade, but um, uh, one upgrade that I've I've seen is that for Vestige is that it's it's a it'll do it'll do better to one of your attacks I think but it'll lower down your accuracy accuracy so I mean yeah. oh dang I just wasted that okay anyways um let me see can we do that on here? See, okay. Just so I just switched between two forms of myself. As you can see, okay. I'm gonna actually go. You can always see if my form actually does damage. You know what, now I put. Actually, I'm gonna try to actually do some damage on this kid. I put. Oh, yeah, you should watch out for this move, this tornado move on this. Uh, if you go into the tornado, it takes away your health. But actually, um, I did a video about it in Artisan. You have to use this. You have to use this move, is how you get. Um, Okay, as you can see, I just killed the first boss. Now I'm going to the second stage, which I can choose another upgrade. Um, okay, just do that. And then I'll just take out Circuit Breaker over here. Backflip so I can get away. Okay. I'm just gonna keep going back and forth so I can escape. Taking some damage. So now I got the arc ages. Okay. Okay. Take him out. And I'm pretty sure the snipe is a guaranteed hit. Which is actually pretty good considering it does more damage than the shield did. Oh dang, I just missed that step. Alright, there we go. So I'm pretty sure they only give you two enemies at once. But once um but once the last enemy is defeated in the one. Okay. So this is the second boss, Loxerman. I'm actually from the Locus team. And each and each boss has their own theme, which is actually pretty cool. The third boss's theme is uh, amazing. And I'm pretty sure he's the most toughest boss. Oh yeah, and this guy is pretty annoying. He he could develop clones of himself and he gives himself force shield and just teleports out of nowhere into the ground. Which is highly annoying. And the only thing that's actually pretty good about him is he only does ranged attacks, so you don't have to switch back and forth between... I don't have to, like, jump away from him um, when he's getting close to me or anything because he, um, because I'm already far away from him, so that's...
Alright, got 40 damage. See? Now he has a force field and a clone, which does which can do different attacks. Ow, ow, ow. So once you actually get him down to health, he'll, so if you don't defeat him long enough, then he'll get like two clones, which is highly annoying actually. Um, oh dang, so I just got three shots. Okay. Alright, so as you can see, I just defeated him, and then he has some lasers. No. Oh dang, I just missed that. Okay. I'm just gonna wait until the attack because I just wanna do a clean finish. Yep. And he died. And I stayed alive. Okay. Alright, I'll do that, I'll do that. So that's an E move, that's an E. Let's see how good this is. Actually, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. 30 second cooldown though. So Anthony Mother is pretty annoying because she actually has three lives. So I got one, and then I'm going to take these guys. Oh, dang, he's so annoying. Oh, yeah, this guy is also annoying. He just runs you over. This is the cool part. This theme is epic. It's actually the dance of dreams. Yep. And he can walk on the roof. Yep. Alright, oh dang, I missed her. Actually, I don't think the shield is shield. And you can do moves like that. So he's like super annoying and super tough. But if you're the good player, you can take him out easy. That snipe. Right, let's take him on and up. Oh, and also you can dodge attacks with the sword, which is highly annoying. And also, if you actually get this character, which you actually can, you, it does the dodging for you, so it automatically dodge uh, any attacks you come. But it doesn't always attack. It doesn't always dodge. You, it can only dodge one attack at a time, so 
And it also creates its own minions if you don't defeat them fast enough. Oh my god. My screen is lagging so bad in the So he's almost done. So he's also a giant statue of him, so I'll lean on because he can stop on you with his hands. So, and I haven't played this game in kind of a while, so I might not survive it, and, um, okay, I, I think I just used my snake. Hey, I don't need it for this for a while. Anymore. My, I don't think my, um, it's the time that the final boss comes in and he does his, like, little attack thing, which is highly annoying. If I'm lucky, I could just stay like this and not get shot. Oh, nothing. I'm not lucky. I'll just stay right here. Oh. And now this is annoying. Now I'm gonna take a lot of damage. Okay, leave me alone. Like that's a plane. Oh my gosh. Stop. It's like that's so annoying. You can hit the lasers once they beam on you. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm probably good. Oh wow, huh? This is just primary fun shots and stuff. I took his clone, my clone out, but now it's this guy, boss. So he's super annoying and super hard to like shoot. But I mean, Equinox is the first and easiest boss actually. This guy is highly annoying, but not too hard to get. Oh damn, he's all he's already behind me. How is that even possible? Like I said, this guy is highly annoying. And I'm dead. No, I'm not actually. I defeated this guy before. Alright, let's go. Got the snipe. Alright, alright, okay, okay. Don't die. Okay, actually, I didn't lose that much health. Oh, 
Oh my god. I forgot what that means. I think that is. I don't even care what damage I'm taking. I'm just on E. Really not. 